Danny Karen here. You know what's good? I mean really good. Really good? The headbangers. The headbangers are really good. Think about it. They were awesome. They were in the WWE in the 1990s. And they're so 1990s. Real men wear skirts? Yeah. Yeah, they do. I'm wearing a skirt right now. But you can't tell because there's a table in my way. Anyway, as I was saying, the Headbangers, Mosh, and Thrasher were awesome. They were so 1990s. We had Beavis and Butthead, Wayne and Garth, and Bill and Ted. But we didn't have a Mosh and Thrasher movie. Why not? Why? We're being deprived, Hollywood. Deprived! Yeah, I don't like it at all. They deserve a movie, especially now. Like, they would make an awesome comedy with, like, the world and how it's going in 2020, 2021. This is being filmed in 2021, by the way, not 2020. Anyway, um, I loved uh, their gimmick in the WWE and elsewhere. They were so cool. They wore uh, skirts and they wrestled and they were funny. And they were just an all-around good time. And, you know, um, they went to the Indies shortly after uh, their run in the WWE. You know what? These guys, they don't age. They don't age at all. No. They're still in their prime. They never got worse. They're still in their prime. Yeah, they had some injuries here and there. Uh, Thrasher uh, injured his knee. And then came back and fully recovered, and he's doing great. But I want to tell you something. Check out the headbangers over in the, uh, the indie wrestling circuit. They don't age. They're they're awesome. You know, I and love I love the uh, the black uh, face paint that they had over here, the triangles, and maybe just like a little bit over here. That was really cool. And well. I love the gimmick. So if you're into gimmick wrestling like I'm into gimmick wrestling, check them out. Look them up. Google them. And well, I gotta say, unfortunately, um, I, bu I bought. My friend got me from a garage sale uh, a, mash, a mosh and or thrasher action figure. And I gotta tell you, it's disappointing. So check out how disappointing this action figure is. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Check it out. First question would be, is this Mosh or is this Thrasher? Now the first clue would be on the face, that is a nose ring. And Thrasher was known to wear the nose ring. And in WWF Warzone, he's known to wear, to have the uh, tongue ring. As he says, Oh, I just swallowed my tongue ring! Or something of that nature. So this could be Thrasher, but the face kind of looks like Mosh in the eyes. And well, this uh, action figure, Seen Better Days. See, there's all sorts of scuff marks all around. Like, look at this arm. It's disgusting. And over here, it's disgusting too. And his head. Thrasher got beat up a lot. Well, the action, this action figure of Thrasher got beat up a lot. And you know what? I don't even know where this action figure came from because my friend got it at a at a yard sale and uh, he gave it to me because he knew I was a big fan. So anyway, t take a look at this t-shirt. Uh, A-U-R? I don't know what that says. You see, the Headbangers had a classic t-shirt. Uh, one of their faces would be in the upper left-hand corner. One of their faces would be in the upper, the lower right-hand corner. And it would be a yellow swirl that said the Headbangers on it. And on the back it said... Real men wear skirts. So let's go to the back. And it's... What does that say? Real men wear skirts. Alright. So 
that part is at least accurate. And these limbs are weird. See, they're rubberized. They're not plastic except for the shoulder part. Get back here, Thrasher. So when you twist the arm, it goes back to its original spot. But you could still move the arm, move the shoulder up, and he stays up. But the wrist, it just goes back to where it was. And, uh, well, they did wear skirts, and this is a skirt. And uh, Thrasher over here is uh, showing off some leg. You know, the elbow pads are accurate, the boots are accurate, but uh, this action figure... And not so good. I feel like they deserve a uh, better, a better action figure. And I, and I'm hoping and I'm praying that there is such a thing because they were a very, um, and I would say, kind of like an icon of the 1990s. You know, they were two goofy guys that loved metal music. They loved headbanging, get it? Because they're the headbangers. And uh, they had a great time. You know, just like Beavis and Butthead. And Wayne and Garth. Party on. So, I would say this action figure, maybe in its best days, it was okay. But, um, you know... Mosh and Thrasher deserve better um, representation in the toy world. Actually, I should say uh, action figure world. So hopefully they have a better one. But this is what I have for now. See ya.